same so we can either do Botox or we could do filler um, and then you're interested as well in your lips you said okay yeah I mean just based off of your current lip shape they are beautiful so we could either look at maybe doing a little bit of filler or a lip flip is an option as well Obviously, you know this, I don't have to say it, you don't need any of these things to be beautiful, but of course, this is your decision, whatever makes you feel more confident, right? Of course, your choice, whatever makes you happiest. Okay, so, uh, let me just then walk you through the difference, okay? Because if you don't know the difference between Botox and filler, let's definitely start there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to type some of this out so that I can email this information to you as well in case I talk about everything, you're not sure about it, you know, just like to make sure you're 100% sure on your choice. Okay, so first off, let's we'll just make a little uh, chart here.
person to person so you could pull up a picture of for example I don't know Kylie Jenner and she's beautiful she has had fillers Botox whatnot but I couldn't for example give you the same facial structure as her just because um, you guys have very different face shapes and not even filler and whatnot could give you that exact look I know I know yes but we do have people who come in here and show pictures of celebrities and say they want this and we have to you know talk through how that's years and years of different operations and also each person's face shape contributes to how they're gonna look okay um so i'm just uh, writing a couple things down for you like i said i'm just going to email this all to you so then you have it um now in terms of so smooth and that's why all the liquid lipsticks and everything looks so gorgeous 
is immediate. I mean, you will have swelling and redness after, um, but the results will be immediate, right? So by tomorrow, you'll be good to go, going to work, whatnot, and you will have plump lips. Now, there are some side effects that could happen, like bruising is pretty common. Just wearing a lipstick would be fine, like a nice gloss or lip oil to kind of cover that. Uh, but a swelling, redness, uh, but we do also recommend not kissing anyone for 72 hours because that apply, applies pressure to the lips and to the filler inside and it can deform them. So making sure that you're not kissing, okay? Really? Whereabouts do they live? Wow, okay. Well, kudos to you. Long distance is not easy, but you guys must be very in love. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. How'd you guys meet? Oh, that is like a, a right out of a book. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. Warm my heart today. Alrighty, so with all of that being said, I think it's about time I take a look at your skin and see what options are best for you. Yeah, and you can kind of walk me through what areas you are looking to change what you would like to see a difference in, okay? One thing is that these gloves are always so hard to get on. We accidentally ordered the size small instead of the medium, and they are snug.
to study for it at all. Just wanted to take a look at your skin and make sure you could feel everything. This one we actually don't 
months and also um, it's going to be less invasive of a treatment you could say because we're not doing as much Botox so yeah not as scary so we'll start off though with that and then we can move on to lips because the lips you have to do a numbing agent for and I want to make sure that you can talk <laughs> throughout this if you need to okay so I'm just going to take a fresh needle here and get some of my Botox, okay? Okay, so like I said, you're just gonna feel a really tiny pinch. Are you ready?
Okay.